put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of the striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot three at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 143 pounds. Awesome! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we are from the world's most famous arena. It is, of course, Madison Square Garden. This is where the Thug Rose scene went down, DC. This is where it happened, J.E. Lost the words, so I yelled the same thing over and over again. Pick Rose Nama Yunus, and you can hear me yell, Thug Rose, Thug Rose, ha. Thug Rose. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Let's go. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. 
And this guy has done this tremendously. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Oh! Circling to his right. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice sneaky head kick. Oh, connects with the one two. Unable to connect with the right. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Straight punch lands. That's a really strong leg kick there by Lee. Hands high, hands high. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. What a punch. Checks that leg kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Missed with that attempt. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. 30 seconds now to go in the round. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so a huge round for him there, DC, particularly when it came to the head kicks. Take us through the replay. I mean, those head kicks were beautiful. He was finding a spot. He was wrapping it around his opponent's arms and landing those head kicks over and over and over. He did a good job of really, really setting his opponent up with his hands and then taking those opportunities that were presented to him. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is gonna need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it but by getting hit over and over in the face. Look at him.
drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ooh, what a punch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Big kick land. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just over three minutes to go. Nice head kick. Nice. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Right punch is good, the left also flush. Starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Trying to establish that jab once again. His hands are down. High kick, high kick. When he drops his hand, throw a head kick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. And he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Nice punch there by Lee. Blocks the shot. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, Tyler Ty. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Superman punch now. All right, round three coming up next. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action 
when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. He was all over you. You did better than that. Come on now, let's shake it out. Let's get back in there. Let's get back to the game plan. Hands high, look behind. All right, here we go. As our next round gets underway, his strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He room. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Let's go. Set the well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful legs. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Can't take many of those. You better check. with that punch. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Fourth action here. Just over three minutes to go in round three. And he landed the right hand there. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit, and he does a great job of that. Oh, single collar tie here. Beautiful strike. Nice one, two there. Well, missed on that one. Oh, slips his head and counters with a hook. Nice job by Lee. Just missed with the left there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. What a body kick. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without. Body kick lands right under the elbow. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Lee's kick, that one blocked. 
All right, single collar tie now. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Good defense to block the strike coming back. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Real nice body kick play. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Way to hide that leg. Oh, a combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Man. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different oh. attacks. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Punch over the top. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, you man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. He's just trying to throw those kicks, even though he's not in the best position to throw them. But that makes him tricky. Good stick. Lands with a right hand. He has a commitment to kicking tonight and it shows. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Big punch land. Ooh. He blocks the punch. Nice head kick. Connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Beautiful body kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. So trying defense into offense there as he counters with a jab to the head. 
He's got the reach advantage, and it certainly paid there. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Big body kick. Back to the jab now, no good. Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Oh, big punch land. Ooh, and he caught the kick. Twenty seconds left. Able to check the high kick. Nice body kick. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. You ready? You ready? Oh. Here we go, fifth and final round. That one coming. Oh. oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. Blocks the shot. into that kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you've got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. you got to get the elbow to the side, because otherwise, you're going to land one that's going to shut everything down. Big kick. Just missing on the high kick there. Nice strike. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. You got the turnover in that kick. Under three minutes now to go round five. Hands high, hands high. Oh, that's a nice strike. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Punch coming and blocked. late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? It's, you gotta go to the main DS mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Big body kick lane. Game of inches right there, boy. It was a good night at that landed. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Nice punch, man. Big head kick. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now.
nice high kick. 90 seconds remain in the fight. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Nice body kick right up the yoga. Oh, well, you can't enter the pocket there unprotected. You got to figure out a way to get you. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. One minute to go in the fight. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Just misses there with the left. Oh, big elbow. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. What a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight.